NASA has once again shown how corrupt they are and how this corruption can also slow down other companies' innovation. Recently, they announced that they plan to take the moon landing project away from SpaceX and give it to other companies. Naturally, Musk is furious about this and he's not going to let it happen easily. Before we get into the full story, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future updates about SpaceX. For those who don't know, NASA has a program called the Artemis Program. The goal is to land humans back on the moon for the first time since 1972. SpaceX was selected for this program a few years ago, and since then they've been working nonstop to make it a success. The moon landing is supposed to happen using SpaceX's Starship rocket, which the company has been testing for almost two years now. If you've seen their latest test, Starship Flight 11, it's clear how far they've come. The rocket reached orbit, performed multiple burns, and safely re-entered. So, there's no doubt they can pull off a successful moon landing within the next few years. But apparently, NASA isn't happy about that. NASA recently announced that they plan to reopen the contract and invite more companies, including Blue Origin, to compete for it again. That makes no sense. Taking the contract away from SpaceX would be one of the worst decisions NASA could make. SpaceX is far ahead of everyone else in the industry. No other company comes close to their launch numbers and success rate. NASA claims the reason for reopening the contract is that China is getting close to landing on the moon and that the U.S. needs to move faster. But that's just an excuse. Let's look at the facts. In 2024, SpaceX completed around 134 launches, the most by any company or country in history. Their success rate was over 95%, and they alone performed more launches than other nations combined. As of 2025, they've already completed over 80 launches this year, and it's not even over yet. Now compare that to China. China had about 68 launches in 2024, which was their record year. In 2025, they've increased that by around a third, but even then, they're nowhere near catching up to SpaceX. So NASA's China is getting close excuse doesn't hold up when you look at the real numbers. To be honest, it's ironic that NASA is saying SpaceX is doing bad, while their own SLS rocket has turned into a complete disaster. From the very beginning, NASA designed the SLS like it was still the 1970s. Instead of building something reusable and efficient, they used old space shuttle technology. Even the engines are literally the same ones that were used on the space shuttle decades ago. They've just been refurbished and attached to a new rocket. Four of these engines are burned and dumped into the ocean after every launch. That's billions of dollars in hardware gone each time. The SLS also uses the same solid rocket boosters from the shuttle era. Each set costs hundreds of millions and they're discarded after one use. It's basically a rocket that burns billions of dollars and leaves nothing reusable behind. The SLS isn't just outdated. It's extremely expensive. Each launch is estimated to cost over $4 billion, and that doesn't even include the billions already spent on development. To put that in perspective, SpaceX could launch around 80 to 100 Falcon 9 rockets for the same amount of money it takes NASA to launch just one SLS. That's not an exaggeration. SpaceX's cost per Falcon 9 launch is around $50 million, and it keeps dropping because of reusability. NASA has already spent more than $23 billion developing this rocket. If you add it all up, the total cost of the Artemis missions using SLS could easily pass $90 billion by the time they finish just a few missions. That's money that could have funded hundreds of SpaceX launches. What makes this worse is that the rocket has been delayed for years. It was originally supposed to launch in 2016, but it didn't actually fly until 2022, six years late. Every delay cost even more money, and most of that went to contractors like Boeing, who kept missing deadlines, but still got paid. The problem with NASA is that they get billions of dollars every year no matter how well they perform. They don't lose ever. In 2025 alone, NASA's budget is around $25.4 billion, about the same as last year. Over the last decade, they've received more than $250 billion in total. 
This same NASA now thinks SpaceX isn't doing a good enough job, so they want to hand the moon landing program over to Blue Origin instead. Seriously? Blue Origin barely launches anything. They've been working on the New Glenn rocket for years, but it's still far behind SpaceX. New Glenn was supposed to compete with Starship. But while Blue Origin is still struggling to get its program off the ground, SpaceX has already launched Starship 11 times. In those 11 flights, SpaceX showed Starship reaching orbit and even managing to catch the booster mid-air using the giant Mechazilla Tower. Not once, but multiple times. This is something Blue Origin can only dream about. SpaceX's other rocket, the Falcon 9, launches almost every week, and some of its boosters have been reused more than 20 times meaning the same hardware has been to orbit, returned, and launched again over 20 times. It has launched more than 500 times since 2010, with a success rate of over 99%. By comparison, Blue Origin's new Glenn has flown only once so far, and even that flight ended with the booster failing to land and be reused. They're nowhere near the level of SpaceX, which launches multiple rockets every week. Even Jeff Bezos himself admitted that he spends around $1 billion of his own money every year to keep Blue Origin running because it's not generating enough revenue to survive on its own. Yet NASA wants to give them a piece of the Artemis program? It's like taking a championship team off the field and replacing them with a group that hasn't even finished training. And here's the thing. All these companies, including the Chinese ones, aren't even dealing with rockets close to the size of SpaceX's Starship. Starship is on a completely different level. It's the largest and most powerful rocket ever built in human history. The rocket stands about 120 meters tall, which makes it almost twice the height of Blue Origin's new Glenn. The main advantage of Starship is that it's fully reusable. Both the booster and the upper stage are designed to land and fly again. That means SpaceX doesn't need to rebuild new rockets after every mission. Starship's design also makes it ideal for long-distance missions. Because it can refuel in orbit, it's capable of reaching the Moon and even Mars without having to build a new rocket each time. SpaceX plans to use multiple Starships to transfer fuel in space before heading to the Moon. Despite all these, NASA is now trying to take the lunar landing program from SpaceX and hand it to Blue Origin. And the truth is, the only reason for such a decision is lobbying. Blue Origin spends around $1 million every year on federal lobbying. NASA itself doesn't lobby, but it's heavily influenced by companies that do. NASA's $25 billion yearly budget is controlled by many of its biggest contractors, like Boeing and Blue Origin, spend millions every year to shape how that money is used. This means even projects that are behind schedule or over budget continue to get funding because of political pressure. So when NASA says it wants to open competition for the lunar contract again, it doesn't look like a fair technical decision. It looks like lobbying at work. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.